Praise the Lord. Today I would like to discuss the condensed summary of 2nd Chronicles. 2nd Chronicles. This is the 14th book of the Bible and that in and in this book containing 36 chapters and 822 verses. In 2nd Chronicles, the book of 2nd Chronicles is a narrative story. The author appears to be prophet Ezra. it covers the event from the beginning from king solomon's reign in 970 bc up to the beginning of the babylon captivity in 586 bc the key personalities are king solomon the queen sheba rehoboam asa jehoshaphat jehoshaphat or jehoshaphat jehoram joash Usia, Ahaz, Hesake, Manesha and Josia. It was written to emphasize the blessing of the righteous king and to expose the sin of the wicked kings. It parallels some parts of 1st and 2nd kings like 1st chronicles. It is written from the viewpoint of priests who spoke from the spiritual perspective including revivals. It too was written after the exile of focus on corrupt correct worship to yahweh so if you divided this into chapter 1 to 9 is the first chapter and chapter 10 to uh, 36 into another section like what we did in first chronicle so chapter 1 to 9 teach the details of the reign of king solomon it covers the wisdom of solomon the building and the construction of temple in jerusalem which was dedicated to the lord god and my people who are called my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from them i will forgive their sin and will heal their land so ch- um, chapter 7 verses 14 the key point that um, is, uh, the lord almighty said and my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from the heaven will forgive their sin and will heal their land that's the chapter 1 to 9 is talking about and the second section chapter 10 to 36 is talking about or the describe the events in the split of the nations of israel the nation split into two kingdoms north and south the northern kingdom revolted against king rehoboam and took a new king his name name was jeroboam second chronicles focused mainly from here on the event of the southern kingdom these include 20 kings and other dynasty from king david these chapters describe the events all the way up through the northern kingdom and its captivity to babylon nevertheless the mercy of the lord is seen in the last two verses of this book cyprus king of persia declared that the remnant of israel may return to the jerusalem in order to fulfill the word of the lord so in this, as i said before in this book containing for uh, this is the 14th book in the bible and 36 chapters and all the it seems to be essaya and yesra were the all the or the final compilers of this book and the theme of this book is genealogical background of israel israelite leaders and of the coming messiah and a history of the kingdom of juda and of the ancestors of jesus christ according to the flesh the purpose of this book is to show the divine reason for the dealing of god and israel and why the davidic kingdom was not allowed to continue perpetually almost same as what we discussed in um, first chronicle but in the second chronicle this book is a sequel to first chronicle and likewise a supplement to the book of king and distinctive features the spiritual element in the history is more emphasized in the chronicles than in kings see the five periodic period periods of reformation we can see here there are five periods of reformation are under kings asa first one and the second one under kings 
Jehoshaphat and third one is under the priest Jehoiada and the king Joash, Joash, Joash and fourth one is under the king Ezekiah and fifth one under the kings of Josiah. And other illustration of the reference found only in 2nd Chronicles are Abijah devout Sadras, Asa's neglect of God, Jehoshaphat foolish alliance, cause of Uzziah leprosy, Manasseh captivity and restoration. And the summary of this book, maybe we can, if we divide it into three categories, the part one, the reign of Solomon, Solomon sacrifice at Gibeon and his wise choice. Chapter 1 is talking about the building of the temple, the glory of the Lord fills the house and the Solomon's prayer at the dedication of the temple. Jehovah appears to Solomon again at the night, the prosperity and the fame of Solomon, the visit of the queen of Sheba and the death of Solomon. The part 2 is talking about the folly of Rehoboam leading to the division of the kingdom and the part 3, the, wish, the history of the various reign from the Rehoboam to Sadakia. We know that Abisha, Asa, Jehoshaphat in the same way start from Abijah till um, Sadakia. And the spiritual message of this book is the power of prayer to give success and victory. Chapter 11 verses 16, 13 verses 13, 14 verses 11, 15 verses 12, 17 verses 4 etc. is talking about the spiritual message of this book is talking about the power of prayer to give success and victory. And the spiritual lessons in this book is the preeminence of wisdom and the glory of the Lord fill the prepared temple and the spirit of praise render God's people invisible synagogue and to have assembly most of the books of the Old Testament. And some of the choice selection if you take Ezra, sublime trust in divine protection where called upon to carry great treasure through the through dangerous places and Ezra prayer and confession for the people. So the spiritual message of this book is the power of prayer to the to give success and the victory. If you and I uh, I are ready to pray and ready to bow down in front of our mighty Savior Jesus Christ then you will get give success and you will get the success and the victory in your life till the eternal eternal life God bless you amen